This morning, we're learning more about disturbing accusations tied to the death of former Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. Her family now threatening to sue Baylor Scott and White. Natalie Haddad is in the newsroom right now. So Natalie, Johnson's son says medical negligence is what led to her death. Certainly quite the accusation, but he definitely felt passionate about it when he spoke to media yesterday. Eddie Bernice Johnson says his trailblazer of a mother called him one day and said she didn't think she'd live past three weeks. The former North Texas Congresswoman died six days later. Now, Ms. Johnson's family says medical negligence led to her, quote, terrible, painful death. In September, the longtime politician had back surgery at Baylor Scott and White Hospital and was admitted into its rehabilitation center. Now, according to the family attorney, a wound from the surgery became infected after Ms. Johnson was left to lie in her own feces and urine in her bed. She repeatedly called for help. That did not come for at least an hour. And after going, undergoing more surgery to treat the infection, Ms. Johnson died from a spinal infection while in hospice care at her home on New Year's Eve. She was 89 years old. Natalie, the family has said it does plan on suing Baylor Scott and White. Do we have any idea on the likelihood that would actually see the inside of a courtroom? This was actually brought up yesterday, Mark, uh, when they were speaking to media, the attorney, he said that uh, this is one of those cases that will very likely end in a settlement. In fact, uh, when talking about this lawsuit yesterday, they said that they had set a time limit of 60 days to reach a settlement before the lawsuit was officially filed. Mark. And we will see what happens. Thank you for the update this morning, Natalie. We certainly know that the death of Eddie Bernice Johnson may have come as a surprise to the public. Some of her former colleagues, though, say they were well aware of her dire health situation, including what they called a lack of care during her rehabilitation. We could never bring Eddie Bernice Johnson back, but it was ridiculous and deplorable the type of treatment she received at that rehabilitation center. Um, most people don't know that she didn't walk after this and that she really was bedridden and um, right before she passed, that's when they finally had sent her home. But this surgery took place in September. And so for approximately three months, this is kind of what she was going through. Perhaps ironic that Eddie Bernice Johnson was a nurse. She got her degree from TCU, the very first nurse ever elected to Congress, and she spent 30 years advocating to improve health care specifically. You may